Hi, I'm Geodav and in this video what we're going to do is have a look at a new plugin project which might interest you in the name of characters. So what am I burbling about this time? Okay, so let me just go back over here quickly here. Now for those who haven't noticed uh, in the general discussion thread of the well forum community general discussion uh, a Raziel has posted about a new project released by the make human team leader now most of you if you've got any interest in this these videos will actually know what make human is it's basically a character creation program external standalone program for creating characters okay so where does this fit in with us well there's a lot of people who seem to have uh, problems making characters wanting characters this that, and the other and these sort of programs help in in ways that others don't and basically I just want to cover one or two of the pitfalls now this is before anybody starts getting uh, wound up on this it's one of those things every program when it you're interacting with the other programs some people call them issues some call them pe some people call them problems some people call them pitfalls depends which way I feel depends which way I call them now as you know I've already posted on this thread and things like this take I do take an interest in because people will eventually ask how to use this okay so where do we get this from right we found this thread here thanks Raziel I'll, I'll be posting a link in there shortly now obviously here's a copy and just go over to Manuel Bas Bastioni I, I probably messed up his pronunciation <laughs> I, I do apologize but uh, He's got a nice little website here which covers a lot on his project here which is called Manuel Lab. Now all you got to do is download it. F please, please follow the tutorial on how to install it into Blender. It's not hard. He's made it very, very easy and all I particularly want to cover here is the aspects of the program going from Blender into Unreal Engine. Well, Unreal Engine 4. You could use it in Unreal Engine. Yeah, the old UDK would work as well. Right, okay, so what have we got? Now, before we go here, I just want you to see my settings. Uh, let's see okay I'm using the latest like, I won't say approved but advised blender setup for on from epic to unreal engine 4 so I know in past times I've bit tried to keep away from this but uh, to be honest if you're going to be doing characters you're going to be doing animations and you want to avoid every possible pitfall issue problem that you're going to find and just basically setting these up to metric and having the scale set at 0 0.01 which basically means centimeters <laughs> okay for you uh, non-metric people and we'll just go from there now as you can see here in my tools panel I have Manuel's lab already installed set up ready to rock and roll so what we're going to do is go up here I'm going to select a Corsian male whatever initialize a character now we get all this lovely stuff here and you're like uh, where is it it's down here 
So I'm just going to press home to s zoom in. Now, if you look at the dimensions here on the right hand transform panel, you will see it's mm, quite small. Okay, so uh, anybody who's using Blender to go to Unreal Engine 4, you will have already realized this is the first issue. So what we're going to do is very simply, I'm going to press A, which selects everything. Press S for scale, type in 100 and return. And then press home so we zoom out or frame the selected object. So now we have quite reasonable dimensions on the character as you'll see when we get in. Now although I picked Corsian, uh, we're go going back over here to the main manual lab panel. Uh, let's see for not honesty um, I don't I don't know but uh, I take it I'm a Northwest European and a special type brute uh, nah. Nah, uh, what am I no, no you don't want to know <laughs> okay so let's just pick it any oh no 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 I don't want that uh, Column one. There we go. Uh, no, that looks like Smurgle. Okay, let's say. Uh, uh, average one. There we go. Oh, I just noticed something there. Uh, hang on. I know it's just me being. Don't know. Well, I mean, you can play around these with all you like. Uh, I'm, I'm just getting a bit uh, distracted. Okay, now obviously you can go in here and pick and mix. You all notice he drops down in size because seemingly the uh, the average size for a, cent a northwest European is about one meter fifty, and even I'm not that small. So uh, I'm not too sure how to. There doesn't seem to be any way here to adjust the actual height. Uh, it just sh it shrinks. Noticeable. Realistic. Generate. Oh, we'll just leave it at that. Now, you'll see here, he's not really in the pose that we want to be because when you're exporting the first time round you want the basic export pose. Now this one's set on capture zero one which is what we normally want. Uh, why is that done that? There we go. Reset pose. It is not, and I repeat, not a perfect alignment for the UE4 mannequin. Okay, so I'll, I'll speak about that in a couple of minutes. Now, everything else in here is actually all covered in Manuel's manual. <laughs> no, please don't. But uh, you can, you can before this is something I will advise you to do. Okay, before you actually go what to export this mesh. Okay, there's a few things you need to take into consideration. Now, obviously, you want it all set up as you wish, and yeah, that's all up here. Now, one of the things Man Manuel's actually put in, as you, if you go down here, is subdivision real time. Now, that's going to be fantastic unless. You're doing what we're doing, which is taking the content into a game engine. Because when you export it, you've got a tendency of uh, applying all modifiers. Uh, yes, try it. 
it's not funny but uh, if you go over here on the right hand panel you will see add modifiers and we have the armature which we have to keep and a subservice modifier now before you export I would extremely advise you to delete this one not apply it delete it okay now if you want to go back at some stage and sculpt all this and have fun and whatever yeah fine but uh, next thing we're, let's just try and move on next thing we're going to do is uh, let, let me just make sure I deselect this because uh, yeah okay uh, we'll just go you can export here and import but that is a uh, there's a terminology for it and I can't remember it off my head but uh, it's pretty much a custom format that uh, Manuel's taken to save and load the characters that he needs within this system okay so obviously we're wanting to export as a FBX which has its issues as we know so I'm going to go manual lab one I'm just going to increase that now when you're in here first thing you need to do is go into in here uh, let's see I mean okay we can go tangent space or it says normals are only but uh, I'll tell you what I'll just put it onto face and that. Now the biggest thing is here obviously going to armatures the default settings for blender and every time you start the stupid thing uh, it has add bones add leaf bones ticked we do not need leaf bones okay Un unreal engine doesn't need them and it will just cause you a headache if you have it set on so what else uh, yeah you can do all that and go back to main and go yeah 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 fine just I just leave that at, at default export yeah pop done next Unreal Engine yippee let me just this is my uh, bodge project I'm on uh, 4102 at the moment uh, bodge is just me messing around with things and not not being very productive so what we're going to do in here is import now I'll pick the one that I've just done and as as per normal by me I do not let it create the physics assets I can deal with that myself later uh, what else we got uh, skeletal mesh use TOA ref pose always a good thing preserve smooth groups yeah import normals and tangents yeah 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 uh, hang, hang on there's something that I miss yeah import materials and textures anybody who's watched my videos knows me as standard I have these unticked because you're gonna have to go in and modify them anyway so import all now this can take a little while and I will tell you now if you have not and I repeat if you have not deleted the subsurface modifier it's going to take a little bit more than a, a little while okay so let's see what we've got here now we've got our guy yeah everything looks fine I'm not bothering with the textures or materials at the moment the next thing we're going to have an issue with is when we go into skeleton mode you will see skeleton humanoid human zero one above the root this is not Manuel's problem this is blender uh, I don't know how many times I reported it in the past 
we had a work round and every time they redo it uh, we have the exact same issue and I don't know what work round we can use. The FBX exporter will always export a extra bone under the link. You will see here we have, uh, let's see if I can open this up, there we go, all that. Because basically what we want is just the root and not using the armature name as a root. But that's what it does and what you may wish to do is use a older version of Blender to uh, circumnavigate this issue where we we know how we can uh, modify the FBX code. Unfortunately at the moment I've got no information on how we can get around that. So let, anyway, let's get back. So that's the next problem. You can, I believe, if you have access to a other 3D program which imports FBX files there's a chance you could actually import it delete that extra bone or I think it's an I think it's an empty or a helper something like that and then import it back into to blender if you need but as you can see from this position here is okay not too bad so what we're going to do here is pull him in here. Now this is what I always advise people to do is check for your size against the Unreal 4 Mannequin. We're just going to pop him in there. Now the Unreal 4 Mannequin is about uh, 1 meter 96 if I remember rightly. Uh, let's see. Uh, it says 187 there, but uh, I, th I think we had something like that. And you will see if we sort of just do our best to align these over. The, uh, the pose is not the same if somebody was willing to match a actual export pose from, as you saw, saw me do here that would probably make th things a lot easier and if somebody could actually persuade the blender people to uh, address the issues we have exporting armatures that would be really great uh, I've tried and no, I'm not possibly not the right person to do these things but anyway that's one of the initial things that we have using Manuel's lab now I believe he covers in his tutorials well I won't say tutorials but in, in the guide looks like he has a very nice system with the uh, clothes so that may, might be something you want you want to look at so it is, I mean, it does look like the uh, the morphs and things like that work with them, so it could be worth a try. But that's pretty much as much as I want to cover on this. It's probably took long enough for me burbling at you. But uh, another interesting option for automated character character creation going from Blender or well going into Unreal Engine 4 uh, as mentioned not without its issues not so much the creators fault more a uh, personally I'd say more a Blender problem but uh, uh, we'll have to wait and see how things go on that okay so I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, let's see that one there wish you a pleasant day and see you soon in the future